www.dnlstrategies.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a quick look at the markets for today, Thursday, April 3rd. We have a really busy day coming up starting at 8.30 GMT when we have PMI data coming out from the Eurozone, which could generate some volatility in the Euro and European stocks. At the same time, we also have Purchasing Managers Index, which is PMI for the United Kingdom, which can also generate some volatility in the pound and in British stocks. Half an hour later, we have uh, a retail sales index from the Eurozone, last major data that coming out before the ECB policy meeting, which is at 11.45 GMT. Uh, a survey by Bloomberg of uh, economists shows that uh, the, the expectation is for the ECB to continue with its policy unchanged. 15 minutes later at 12 o'clock GMT, we have a press conference by the ECB President Mario Draghi. Investors are going to be taking a close look at this, which could generate some volatility over the next hour, which is usually how long this press conference lasts, uh, looking for forward guidance from the um, ECB. Uh, half an hour later, 12.30, we have uh, weekly employment data from the United States. And then at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we have ISM non-manufacturing composite, um, which could actually have more of an impact on the markets than the uh, manufacturing ISM that we had uh, released on Tuesday. Uh, going over to the markets, uh, the S&P 500 yesterday continued to higher by 0.3% and reached a new uh, record high once again. Um, the optimism continued during the Asian session uh, with uh, Asian markets going up again for the seventh consecutive day, the largest upward streak so far this year. Uh, this was also after there were stimulus measures in, uh, implemented by the Chinese uh, government. Uh, but at the moment, going into the session today, S&P 500 futures are trading a neutral, pretty much flat, which is uh, in, which is to be expected leading into a busy day like this when we'll have when we're expected to have uh, significant volatility due to uh, major events on the economic calendar um the euro has been continues within its range of uh, support at 137.40 and resistance at 138.40 however we have major um we have key economic data coming out from the euro that could push it beyond those levels on the downside we could uh, be reaching one 36.50 in support and on the upside 139. Uh, the pound, um, the pound has also been continuing within its range of 166 to 166.80. However, it's at the very close, just here above 166 at the moment. If it were to break through that, it would be heading towards the bottom of this uh, long-term trend line, which is at 165. 40 at the moment and uh, the yen uh, the dollar yen pair pushed above uh, uh, resistance sorry at 103.75 which is now turned into support but it's been encountering some significant headwinds at the moment um, and it might come back through and reach for the next level of support which is at 103.40 uh, uh, however, it, if it were to continue its move on the upside, resistance is at 104.75. And uh, finally, we have gold, which, as we've been anticipating, uh, began a short correction here yesterday. Moved on the upside. RSI is still showing that uh, gold is still oversold, so we might have this correction might continue over the next couple of days towards 1,310, or it might break through this. Uh, preliminary support level in as it continues towards 1265 and that's it for today thanks for watching and happy trading